Officials across Europe are desperate to stop this invisible killer. Ever stricter measures limiting people's movements are now in place across the continent. On Monday, Spain saw its highest number of deaths in a single day, 462. The virus is hitting those trying to fight it. More than one in ten confirmed infections in Spain are healthcare workers. Elsewhere in the country, the army, brought in to assist with disinfecting care homes, have found some residents abandoned. Soldiers discovering the elderly and vulnerable dead in their beds. This ice rink turned into a temporary mortuary as the country's death toll passes 2,300. In Italy, Europe's worst affected country, no internal movement at all. Police stopping and checking everyone's ID and reason for travel. On Monday, authorities said there had been another 602 deaths. And in Switzerland, calls for the entire ski resort town of Verbier to be sealed off after a rise in the number of cases. The country has brought in the army after the number of confirmed cases passed 8,000. The British government is now requiring people to stay at home in the hope death rates in the UK won't climb as high as they have elsewhere in Europe. But other European countries also had strict controls in place, limiting people's movements. As well as effective implementation, Britain will also need a certain degree of luck on its side in the weeks ahead. Rich Preston, BBC News.